In the heart of the vast African savanna, in a small village called Njurua, a child named Ndidi was born under the shadow of a giant baobab tree. The village elders said the tree was as old as time itself, its thick trunk and sprawling branches a testament to centuries of wisdom and strength. Didi's birth was marked by a rare occurrence, the baobab tree blossomed with hundreds of white flowers, a sign that this child was destined for greatness. Didi's mother, Amina, was a healer known throughout the region for her knowledge of plants and their healing properties. Her father, Kofi, was a revered warrior and protector of the village. From a young age, Didi displayed an insatiable curiosity and a connection to the natural world that was unlike anything the villagers had seen. She would spend hours at the base of the baobab tree, listening to the whispers of the wind and the secrets of the leaves. One evening, as the sun set and the villagers gathered around the fire for their nightly stories, the village elder, Baba Ojo, spoke of an ancient prophecy. There will come a child, he said, his voice gravelly with age, who will bring balance to the land. This child will have the wisdom of the baobab and the strength of the lion. As Baba Ojo spoke, the villagers' eyes turned to Ndidi. Though only ten years old, she had already shown remarkable abilities. She could calm the fiercest animals with a touch and heal the sick with remedies no one else knew. The villagers began to believe that Ndidi was the child of prophecy. When Ndidi turned 16, a great drought struck Njurua. The rivers dried up, crops withered, and the animals fled. The villagers grew desperate, and their hope began to wane. One night, as Ndidi sat beneath the baobab tree, she heard a voice in the wind. Seek the spirit of the mountain, it whispered. Only then will the rains return. Determined to save her people, Didi set out on a journey to find the spirit of the mountain. With a satchel of provisions and her mother's herbs, she walked for days through the scorched savanna, guided by the stars and the whispers of the baobab. Didi's journey was fraught with danger. She encountered wild beasts, treacherous terrain, and fierce storms. But with each challenge, she grew stronger and wiser. Along the way, she met allies, a wise old tortoise named Olimide who taught her patience, and a swift cheetah named Asubike who taught her speed and agility. One day, she reached a vast desert. The scorching sun beat down on her, and she felt her strength waning. But just as she was about to give up, a mirage appeared before her. It was a beautiful woman with skin the color of the night sky and eyes that shone like stars. I am Nala, the spirit of the desert, the woman said. You have shown great courage, Didi. To reach the spirit of the mountain, you must first pass through the desert of reflection. Nala gave Ndidi a small, intricately carved stone. This will guide you, she said, but you must trust in yourself and the wisdom of the baobab. With renewed strength, Didi continued her journey. She crossed the desert and entered a lush valley filled with life. At the center of the valley stood the mountain of spirits, its peak hidden in the clouds. Didi began her ascent, each step bringing her closer to her goal. As she climbed, she encountered spirits of the forest, water, and air, each offering her guidance and gifts. They told her that the spirit of the mountain was the most powerful of all and that she must be prepared for the ultimate test. After days of climbing, Didi reached the summit. 
There, she found a cave illuminated by a soft, ethereal light. Inside, she met the spirit of the mountain, an ancient being with eyes that held the wisdom of the ages. Didi, the spirit said, you have shown great bravery and wisdom. To bring the rains back to your village, you must make a sacrifice. The baobab tree that you love so dearly must be given to the earth, its roots to nourish the land and its branches to call the rain. Didi's heart ached at the thought of losing the baobab, but she knew what she had to do. Didi returned to Njurua with a heavy heart. She gathered the villagers and explained the spirit's message. Together, they performed the sacred ritual, thanking the baobab for its wisdom and strength before laying it to rest in the earth. As the last root was covered, dark clouds gathered in the sky. Thunder rumbled and soon, rain began to pour. The villagers danced and sang with joy as the drought was broken and the land began to heal. Didi's sacrifice brought prosperity back to Njuruwa. The village flourished and the people thrive. In the place where the baobab once stood, a new tree began to grow, its young branches reaching towards the sky. Didi continued to lead her people with wisdom and courage, becoming a legendary figure whose story was told for generations. The baobab tree, a symbol of resilience and sacrifice, became a sacred place where the villagers gathered to honor their ancestors and the spirits of the land. And Didi, the child of prophecy, lived on in their hearts as the guardian of Njuruwa, forever entwined with the ancient baobab and the land she loved. Thank you for watching, kindly like and subscribe for more stories.